Hi, so let me take you through what I've done actually, because even if I say so myself, <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. So we're working with an Archimedes screw, looking to make it out of these things, which are just old CDs. Now these CDs do clean up relatively easily. DVDs, not so much, you have to split them apart. But these ones, the coating's on the top, so a trimming knife blade will scratch that off. And that's exactly what I did to a whole bunch of them. I scratched it off. But you'll notice I've also drilled out a rather larger hole, it's 48 millimetres actually, and put that cut in it down there so that it opens up. Now something amazing has happened, even though it's just really tiny. All I've done is increase the size of the hole here from 15 millimetres to 40 millimetres. So in this flight we've still got a fair amount of area but suddenly it's got very much more flexible, much more flexible than it was before. So if I get a bit of um, ABS piping, and this is 40 millimeter diameter, and I stretch that out, actually it'll snugly fit against the piping. Now, that immediately made me think, and it should make anybody think, I think, what would happen if we tried joining that together? So, because it's now so much more flexible, I was able to heat weld this. And I'll give you an example of me heat welding it. And here's five of them heat welded together. And if I open them up, you'll notice it's opening up like a natural spring. Now, that's really kind of awesome. Because we haven't had to muck around with this particularly. All we've done is heat weld those edges together. And then we can open it up like that. The idea, obviously, is can we open it up so that all we have to do to create this thing is stretch that down a pipe. But let me give you a close-up of the heat welding process. So here's the disc, here's a block of wood. Take one end and slide it under the block of wood so that you've only got one side actually on and that's the side that we're going to heat solder. Now we need to hold that flat and I'm just using ordinary sellotape. We put a bit of sellotape on it and then it holds that flat against there. Now we take another disc and what we're going to do is hold that against there and heat weld those two. So we need to hold that flat. Again, bit of sellotape. Line it up carefully. And sellotape it down. So the two are now butt joined. And if I pop a bit of wood under there, then I can actually get to that butt joint there. Now I've got a sacrificial piece where I'm going to use that as the uh, soldering material and here I've just got an ordinary soldering iron and you just go along that line soldering some extra material on. and we need to do that to both sides. So what I did was stick a screw in the top and then pull the helix out along the pipe and then basically glue it in place. Now those joints are still pretty rough. Demons 1988 suggested that I double up and then move it along so it laps and I'll probably try that. It's getting a bit late so it's probably gonna to be tomorrow. Now, I was planning on making the pipe work for the uh, other helix that I did to try it as a hydro generator. But to be honest, I wanted to concentrate on the helix formation. And I think that's really getting there. Okay, so this is clearly turning into a bit of a mission. Now, I wanted to quickly test something, actually. So, now I've put a, uh, a bearing at the bottom. I've got a little stick to hold it. Now, I've taken it out in the wind, and it doesn't particularly turn in the wind. However, if I put a blower that blows up through these veins... <laughs> I mean, not earth-shattering as a wind turbine, but it is telling me that that pitch really is looking really good for a fluid flow across it. Now, obviously, the air was kind of angled here, catching the vein and making it spin a little bit. The idea of this is you put it in a pipe and you have the water flowing over it. 
air is compressible obviously and this is going absolutely everywhere we got water with a bit of weight on that we should be able to get that to generate quite well now i have had a couple of goes at this which is why you can see that the pipe is actually fairly scored because i can tell you that sticks like you wouldn't believe so the only thing that i'm worried about is the um joints here that's the thing i'm not really happy about really so i'll try demon's 1988 suggestion and we'll see what happens there um, but at the moment i think this is ready to put in the pipe with that suggestion anyway i thought i would share that improvement with you because it was stunningly easy and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching